Hello everyone, I am Dr. Amit Bhujan Sharma, Director and Unit Head Cardiology, Paras Hospitals, Gurgaon, India. Today has been a really momentous day for all of us. As you know, in the last few days, a couple of Rota Pro cases have been done in the country. One in uh, Delhi, one in Bangalore and one in Chennai. Today we did our first Rota Pro case. Rota ablation is meant for severely calcified arteries or blockages. There are other techniques like laser and shockwave lithotripsy. But cardiologists will agree with me, nothing breaks the calcium as efficiently as a rotablator. Now we have a generation 2 Rota Pro, which is much more user friendly. As you know in our country, we have been doing a lot of cases, a lot of angioplasties have been doing in the country, which are much more than other countries. But the penetration of rotablation is only 3%. That means only 3% people because it has been well versed. People conceive it as complex procedure, technically difficult procedure. So after that, there was a lot of R&D done by Boston Scientific and then they came out with the new generation Rota Pro, which is more user friendly, more intuitive. It has got less knobs, no foot pedal and more importantly, it is user friendly. It is a single user device. You do not use multiple operators. To, do, to control the device and I will show how we did it and how it is done. This is what a new Rota Pro looks like. This if you see carefully, this is what the Rota ablation machine is there. How you open it, simple. You open, close the entire thing, open this up and this is a cable. Earlier there used to be three cables. Now this is a single integrated cable which has got a nitrogen tubing and which has also got a calcium bar ins inside it. Then there is a Rota, the rota bar remains the same. This is the rota bar which you can see to break the calcium. It just goes inside like a dentist, dental calcium bar. And this is the knob. The earlier rota ablation had a knob which was detachable. But this knob is not detachable. This moves around by about 45 to 60 degrees here. And then the, there is no foot pedals. There is no foot pedal which we were there for the dyna mode. There is instead a green button which you press here. And then you get the dyna mode here. And at the same point of time, if you see this is the wire, once the wire is there then you can defeat the wire by putting a brake on like this. So as a result two user operators are not required. I will be discussing the case what we did very recently. This was the case, yes 78 years old gentleman had a bypass surgery done, bypass grafts are all blocked, there was a calcified blockage, the heart percent occluded. There was bad calcium and we realized that this would not be expanded or would not be done normally by an expandable balloon. So the index team referred for a rotablation and we took a rotablation and we did a rotablation with a 1.5 bar across the CTO, did the intravascular ultrasound and once you did, this was a temporary pacing wire which is going on. So this is the temporary pacing wire, multiple balloons, multiple hardwares were used and once there a CTO wire has been crossed out. After that, the rota bar was advanced. The rota bar is very much like a dental dentist using a dental grill here. So, if you see very carefully, this is how next. This is how the dental bar goes, and it goes all the way, breaks the calcium, breaks the calcium further down, and this goes drills, drills in further and breaks the calcium further down. Once the calcium is broken, there is space enough for the balloon to go or the stent to go, and this is a boon in diabetic patients people who have got heavily calcified arteries. Once we ended up putting multiple stents, if you see very carefully, the earlier picture was something like this. You, This was totally blocked and once the balloon was opened up and the final picture, you can show here also, the final picture, the RCA was totally opened up and it was a very heartening procedure. So with the new Rota Pro, I hope the younger cardiologists will be able to learn better. It is more user friendly. It does not require multiple controls. The foot paddle is not there now and the detachable knob is also not there, the dyna mode is separate, so it is much more user friendly and people will be, I hope that this will be of more utility for the calcified lesions and people will be able to use it more often. Thank you.